Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to learn about the simulation of diode reverse recovery time in LK spice. Okay, so we will understand how will you model a diode and in LK spice and how will you simulate and see the reverse recovery time of the diode. What is the behavior of reverse recovery time? How reverse recovery time looks like in your simulation. Okay. So I will run the simulation. Uh, simulation of this circuit you can see. I will run the simulation of this circuit. And I will show you the reverse recovery time. Okay. Reverse recovery time. I will also show you what is what is the difference between silicon diode and short key diode so what is the impact of impact in reverse recovery time if you use silicon diode and what is the impact in reverse recovery time if you use short key diode right so this is very important video to understand and one more thing you you always you might have heard this terminology reverse recovery time and many times in diode data sheet you can see you can see trr okay so this trr is called reverse recovery time and in this video you will see practically how reverse recovery time looks like okay how reverse recovery time looks like so in this video i am not going to explain you what is the reverse recovery time in the direct way i'll show you so that you will understand what is the reverse recovery time how reverse current flow through diode and how much is the reverse recovery time and how you can reduce or eliminate the effect of reverse recovery reverse recovery so this is going to be very interesting video for me at least i'll be learning something today so hope you guys also will learn and let us let us understand now okay so you can see here i have drawn a simple circuit okay there is nothing special there is nothing special in this circuit you can see here one voltage source that is v1 one diode that is d1 and you can also see a load resistance which is 24 ohm okay so this is very very simple circuit okay you have one voltage source you have single diode and you have load and you can see here ground okay so there is nothing special okay let me show you the property of this voltage source okay so i i right click on here and now you can see v initial is zero v on is 5 volt and you can see the t on is 1 micro 1 mic microsecond and the t period is 2 microsecond if you divide 1 by 2 microsecond it will become 500 kilohertz okay so what you need to understand here is i am i am switching this diode with the frequency of 500 kilohertz okay so it it's a bit higher frequency frequency of 500 kilohertz with amplitude of 5 volt okay so if you switch if you switch your silicon diode or normal rectifier diode what in in a high frequency you can see the behavior of the impact of your reverse recovery loss okay it is also some due to the reverse recovery time we have reverse recovery loss okay so in the if you talk about diode diode has two losses conduction losses and switching losses in the switching losses due to the reverse recovery time diode has switching losses okay if you switch the rectifier diode or silicon diode right with with 
high frequency pulse you will see the impact of reverse recovery loss due to the reverse recovery time okay so let me show you now the property of this diode so just right click on d1 okay and you can see here okay so this is diode 1 in 914 manufacturer is on semi and you can see the type is silicon forward current is 200 milliampere and breakdown voltage is 75 volt okay let me click it on okay and this is simple load resistance okay so the current flowing through this diode equals to 5 divided by 24 so you will get some current here okay so these all things are set and now i'll directly run the simulation so just go ahead simulate edit simulation command as usual in my pre previous video you can see selected the transient time stop time is 50 microsecond and let me click on ok so now you can click here this is run button okay so in run button just click on run button and let me show you the current flowing through this diode this is id1 current flowing through this diode is given by id1 okay. now let me show you the simulation so this is id1 you can see this is the current flowing through this diode id1 and you can see your maximum current here you can see if i talk about it is 170 milliampere okay so so when diode is on when the diode d1 is on current flowing through this diode is 170 milliampere and when this diode d1 is off there should ideally there should not be any current ideally okay there should not be any current when diode during the off period of diode okay so let me show you here so okay let me divide into two plot pane so one this is your let me this is your input and this is your current okay so you can see so you can see this is the on time on time of your diode and during the on time you have 170 milliampere current and this is the off time of diode right isn't it hope guys you are understanding what i am trying to say you so this is off time of the diode and during this time ideally diode shouldn't conduct as you know theor theoretically but here you can see there is a reverse current okay there is a reverse current and you can see reverse current here if i move the cursor here and i will tell you the reverse current flowing through this diode is 20 minus 28.5 milliampere that is 28.59 milliampere reverse current in the when diode your diode is off your current flowing through reverse current flowing through this diode is is how much 29 milliampere you cannot imagine let me let me move this cursor as well okay. so you can see you can see the reverse recovery time for this diode the reverse recovery time for this diode i n i 1 and 914 is how much let me show you so the reverse recovery time for this diode is 21.6 nanosecond how much is 21.6 nanosecond so so you can see how how your reverse recovery time looks like when your diode is off so you can see this time is this time is taken by the diode to to get back in off state so this is on state when diode is turn off from on state to off state it 
there is a reverse flow of current and due to due to the due to the reverse recovery time i i'm not going to explain much deeper in the physics what is the charge stored in capacitor and how pn junction recombination takes place so this is not in our topic uh, okay so this is the reverse recovery time when diode is turned off diode diode is turned off you can see there is a reverse flow of current okay so you can see guys this is very important so this parameter basically the diode manufacturer data sheet data sheet specify in their data sheet they have mentioned the trr time okay in in their data sheet okay so you can see this is the time trr time and during this we have some power losses during this we have some power losses and and sometimes if this reverse recovery current cannot cannot be controlled you can you you are you are not paying attention to control this current your it can damage your other device which is connected with this diode so you should always pay attention here this is very critical this reverse current is very critical guys okay so so this is reverse recovery time and here you can see the reverse recovery loss and here you can see reverse current flowing through it okay now what i'll do i'll change this the silicon diode to maybe short in short q diode so let me choose this 1n5819 okay so i just replace silicon diode to short q diode you can see the parameter and this is 1n5819 manufacturer on semi type short key forward current 1 ampere breakdown voltage 40 right so now let me run the simulation and show you again guys okay okay you can see you can see your amplitude of current is reduced here earlier it was 29 milliampere and here you can see 3.5 milliampere okay so due to due to you have used short key diode in place of in place of general silicon diode and you can see here this time is very less and it it has been also reduced the if you use if you use short key diode in place of silicon diode you can see the effect here and you can see your reverse recovery losses reduced okay and your reverse current flowing through diode reverse current also reduces and this time is also reduces okay the time is also reduced you can you can just imagine what is the magic if you use short key diode in place of general purpose diode so hope guys you have understood today what is the reverse recovery time how will you simulate the reverse recovery time in lt spice okay and if you have any further question regarding this topic feel free to ask me in comment section and thanks for your patience